How's it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today we're actually bringing back our soils versus hydroponics test for purple sprouting broccoli in particular. So with this test, what we're gonna be doing is testing out one hydroponic group versus three different types of soils to see which one comes out on top. So stay tuned for the results. Okay, so we've spent about two months now really perfecting our hydroponic game and what we're going to do now is begin comparing our hydroponic growth against different types of soils. So let's quickly talk about the different test parameters for this. So every single one of these trays has been seeded with 20 grams of purple sprouting broccoli per tray. Now let's talk about what's going to be different. So this group right here, this is going to be our hydroponics. So this is grown on a medium called BioStrate and it is going to be bottom watered with our ocean solution water. Our second tray is going to be our Coco Coir tray. So this has no nutrients and is gonna be watered with just regular filtered water. Our third tray is going to be actually Miracle Grow Organics because we wanted to try out something that's incredibly available basically everywhere. Um, you know, you can find this at like Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, stuff like that. So I just wanted to try to test out a soil that's incredibly uh, abundant and available. So that's going to be this tray and it's going to be again watered with only filtered water. And for our last tray, it is actually going to be a dirt that we just saw in a local hydroponic shop called uh, Roots Organics for Microgreens. So I have still yet to figure out if it's actually organic. Um, but whenever I saw it was for microgreens and it's called Roots Organics, I figured I got to try this out. So again, this is only gonna be bottom watered with the filtered water. So kind of looking at these mediums to kind of predict, so we know how hydroponics is gonna grow. We know what to expect from this one. This one we don't have a lot of questions about. Uh, we've also grown a lot with Coco Coir. So this is something we're pretty familiar with and we know what to kind of expect with this. Uh, Coco Coir retains water very well. Um, so you have to be careful not to overwater. As for the miracle Grow, we've never tried this in our grow space. Um, it seems like it's going to hold water very well, so we need to be careful not to overwater this. And uh, I'm kind of curious to see how it performs because it is a container mix, uh, which means this is more for adult crops instead of uh, starting seed. And then lastly, uh, the Roots Organics is really airy and uh, it's great, got great um, drainage. The issue that we found seeding this is that we can't hardly see where we put our seeds at all. Like if you come in close, you look at all the differences, like with BioStrate, we can, it's very easy to see where we seeded this. Coco Coir, we have a very good idea. Uh, same with the Miracle Grow, we can see it very well. And then you get over to this Root Organics, which is just, uh, it's got so many different textures and colors that as I was seeding this, I couldn't tell if I was accidentally clumping or not. So uh, that's one thing to kind of be aware of with this is seeding this by hand can be a little challenging. So we're excited to see how these results turn out. Um, this one's meant specifically for microgreens. So if this one does not come out on top, I'm gonna be a little disappointed in it, not gonna lie, but uh, that we will find out over time. So stay tuned for more of the results. All right, so we are on day 11 of this broccoli soils versus single hydroponic experiment. And as you can kind of see here, there is a lot of different types of growth happening and surprisingly a lot of different colorations too. Uh, in the stems of these because of the different soils. So what we kind of noticed straight off the bat was how each one had its own kind of pattern of growing. Like you notice that the Coco Coir has the smallest cotyledons, but for some reason has the most vibrant stems. So I believe maybe that lack of nutrients in the Coco Coir allowed the purple sprouting aspect with the purple stems of these uh, broccolis to really pop. I don't know if that's a stress factor is what makes that color happen, but that's what I'm kind of hypothesizing with this. And then kind of looking at our miracle grow, you can see these things just grew straight up. <laughs> it's the it's the it's probably the most uniformly tall uh, growth I've seen like that. And then as for our roots organics, it looks honestly really good. We have nice uniform growth all throughout it. Uh, the cotyledons are nice and big. The, the growth is very tall. I'm not seeing any like patches or anything where there was poor germination or anything. Uh, I can see, you know, the cotyledons right here are just a tiny bit smaller. So 
towards the edges, maybe a little bit of issue with germination. Nonetheless, great growth. And then lastly, for our um, ocean solution, which is our hydroponic one, the growth looks really great again. Uh, but we do have a little, you know, some little wonky areas. Wonky, it's a very technical term. And uh, basically, we just think maybe just lower germination in this front corner, and then maybe a, a little spot right here where the germination was a little off. But overall, the growth on all of these look pretty awesome, and all of this is really great product. It's just all different types of growth. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and harvest. We'll talk about taste, we'll talk about texture and uh, appearance, and obviously weight as well to discuss You know how much weight each one of these provided. So I'll see you in just a moment once I've harvested every single one of these trays, and then we'll go over all that. All right, so I finished harvesting all four of these trays, and the results are actually pretty shocking when it comes to the harvest weights and the physical appearance of the product. So let's go ahead and start with, I think we'll do this in order of lowest weight to highest weight. So I'm gonna start with our lowest weight, which was our cocoa coir. Uh, we had a total harvest weight of 220 grams. Uh, our next highest weight was our miracle Grow Organics, which was 243 grams. Uh, above that was our ocean solution with a nice jump up to 320 grams. And then just a hair above that was our Roots Organics at 325 grams, so five grams higher than our Hydroponic Ocean Solution. So that's it for the weight. So the winner of overall weights are gonna be our Roots Organics and our Hydroponic Nutrients uh, Ocean Solution. Uh, those two had the best weight. Now as for appearance and taste, let's bring that over here and take a look. So this is our miracle Grow. This is our Roots Organics, this is our Coco Coir, and this is our Ocean Solution Hydroponic Nutrient one. So let's talk about each one of these. So our Miracle Grow had nice coloration, nice growth. Uh, you can see that the little bit of the purple had actually worked into the stem. And then for our Roots Organics, while it had the tallest and most uniform growth, we lacked severely on any coloration in the stems. There was very, very faint purple in this. But other than that, they were mostly green stems. Onto our Coco Coir, which had the most purple in the stems, as you can see down here. Uh, it just had a lot of purple, but again, the smallest cotyledons of anything in this group. And then lastly, our uh, Ocean Solution one, which had a good mix of coloration and cotyledon size. It's just the growth was a little uh, mixed throughout it. So as for the taste, I've tasted all of them. They all taste pretty similar. Um, but there is slight differences, uh, and it's kind of hard to explain that. Uh, like, for example, the roots, while I liked the taste, it just seemed like it was lacking in something. Like, there was no oomph to it that you usually get from microgreens. Uh, so I was really kind of disappointed while it did provide the biggest and tallest growth. Uh, as for flavor, it was just uh, it was just pretty average. There was nothing really popping about it. Whereas everything else kind of did have a nice flavor to it, especially uh, the Coco Coir and the Ocean Solution, uh, both of which had more of that brassica kind of flavor to it, which really uh, helps intensify the flavor. So that's kind of it for all of these. So let's talk about uh, what is the best in our opinions and the worst in our opinions. So with Coco Coir having the best color, I would love to figure out what caused that. Was it the lack of nutrient? Did we accidentally underwater? Was there something that caused uh, this to provide the most color? Um, I wouldn't think it was underwatering because honestly, uh, the coloration happened throughout the tray. And if it was underwatering, it only happened towards the edges of the trays where it's more likely to dry out more quickly. Um, so there's just something here maybe with a lack of nutrients that provides that stress to give it that coloration that we kind of desire. Um, overall though, I love soils, the, the growth that they provided, but as for ease of use, the easiest harvest and the highest weight that we found uh, that works best for us is hydroponics. It provided good color. It provided super easy harvest. Like we don't have to worry about getting any soil on the product. The soil goes straight into the bag. We don't have to worry about knocking off soil or having to wash this product because again, it's just very clean. You're not gonna have any of that grittiness of soil in it. And it did provide us with a great weight, great tasting product, great coloration. If I was gonna choose one of these 
uh, soils to go forward with. It'd probably be the Roots Organics, even though I wasn't impressed with the flavor of it. Uh, it did provide us really nice growth, a lot of product, which is a very abundant harvest, uh, which means more product that we can eat, share, or sell. As for coloration though, I'm really loving the, uh, the Cocoa Coir. Uh, and lastly, the, the America Grow provided a great I mean, great growth. It was 243 grams, which honestly is pretty surprising considering Coco Coir, which has no nutrients, was only 23 grams behind that. Um, so maybe what, what's kind of shocking is the Miracle Grow has nutrients in it. It has uh, aged compost. It has other properties in there to allow uh, these plants some nutrients. And what's surprising is they didn't really take that into effect or it somehow didn't translate because we only had 23 grams higher than no nutrients added versus like with the roots organics we jumped up a full uh basically 100 grams higher uh with all the nutrients available in that so it's kind of a mismatch of uh what worked and what didn't work but going forward in our space we love hydroponics it's just so easy to use product tastes great still organic and uh, the harvest is incredibly easy. So what worked best for us, what we're happy with, and we're gonna deem the overall winner is going to be the Ocean Solution Hydroponic Nutrient uh, for um, this broccoli. So lost my train of thought a little bit there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We always encourage people to do their own experiments, see what works best for your space, what soils do you prefer, what growing mediums do you prefer, this is just something we do to kind of just give everybody a baseline of how different soils can perform and also how not every soil is the same. You're not gonna get the same exact result by growing soils and hydroponics. Every soil is gonna be different and every hydroponic nutrient and grow medium is gonna provide different results. So we always encourage you to do your own experiments. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We'd love to get those answered for you as soon as that we can as soon as that we can. <laughs> and if you would like to, our Instagram is at on the grow farms. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Keep on growing.